this is the heart of the hydraulic lifting system. It consists of the hydraulic cylinder, also known as the ram, and the cylinder head, several cables and pulleys, and this guide rod. And this guide rod is probably the single most important item of maintenance that you'll have on your high-low trailer. Uh, it's a very important that you keep it cleaned, keep it uh, cleaned of rust, of road debris, and also keep a good layer of grease on it. Now this one you can see I've applied a nice layer of white lithium grease so you can see it. You can also use uh, wheel bearing grease or axle grease, uh, but it's very important that you keep this thing lubricated. Uh, at this time, uh, so I'm going to have somebody raise the trailer and you'll be able to see how the uh, hydraulic lift system pushes out and as it does it's actually pulling on the cables and that's what raises and lowers the trailer. Okay, now you may have noticed that as this cylinder head was sliding out uh, on the guide rod that it was scraping most of the grease that I had applied to the guide rod off. It still left a thin layer which will keep the trailer from rusting or, or keep the guide rod from rusting, uh, but in time that thin layer of grease is going to wear away or things are going to fall on it and carry it off or dust is going to settle and absorb the grease and your guide rod will begin to rust. So it's important that at least once every six months whether you use your trailer or not, you come out and reapply grease to both sides of the cylinder head so it stays nice and lubricated. Some other items of maintenance that you can do occasionally is applying some sort of a silicone or WD-40 type of lubricant to your, uh, your pulleys and also to your cables underneath. Be careful not to get the WD-40 on the cables toward the end because they may come in contact with the curtains inside your trailer and cause them to stain. 